द वर्ड नैवेद्यम मीन्स निवेदन निवेदन मीन्स ऑफरिंग एंड दैट बिकम्स अ सेक्रेड ऑफरिंग वेन वी ऑफर फूड टू आर सिस्टम इट इज सेक्रेड ऑफरिंग टू द बॉडी एंड माइंड सो दैट्स द प्लेस वी आर मूविंग हेड विथ well in kitchen three things are most important salt sugar and oil now salt we use is himalayan salt that is rock salt pink colored rock salt which we make a powder and use here these minerals are thought to offer various health benefits such as supporting proper hydration electrolyte balance and even aiding in the body's ph balance for sweetening we use jaggery jaggery is a natural sweetener considered much healthier than refined sugar jaggery is believed to have lower glycemic index than sugar that means it may cause slower and steadier rise in blood sugar level we use groundnut oil according to ayurvedic principles groundnut oil is believed to balance both vata and kapha prakriti making suitable for wide range constitution its high smoke point also makes it ideal for cooking at high temperature without compromising its nutritional property additionally groundnut oil is rich in monosaturated fats which are considered heart healthy and may have anti-inflammatory effects food is such a thing which is so sacred for our body it has to be served with love and care kya maharaj it's very good it has to be served with love care and smile with a relaxed state if mind is disturbed don't go in kitchen and see how nicely he is serving so happily and look at all these ingredients a rice which we are using it is unpolished rice not polished one so hand pounded rice dals they are all required masoor dal mixed vegetable with yogurt and so many things so many lovely ingredients it is smelling so nice all your senses are very much focused when you are eating and here is another product which is salad which is full of protein groundnuts are soaked and cooked well and given into this and very tasty very tasty to eat and here are chapati which are so precious because these chapatis are not just plain atta we are putting mint leaves inside sometimes we with different different fragrances we put these things and you just enjoy we have lemon and so the food becomes such a holistic wholesome food but the main point is awareness great care and love when we infuse our cooking with love our intention and energy becomes part of the food enriching experience of consuming it the meticulous process of preparing satvik meal at the yoga institute is rooted in the principles of purity simplicity and balance with the goal of nourishing body mind and spirit now eating food sitting on the floor rather than on the table has multiple benefits in yoga sitting posture involves many muscles eating food in a sitting position presses the lower spine which would relax the body the back and forth movement while eating gives little compression to your abdomen this stimulates the release of digestive juices the compression is maximum in sitting position sitting on a chair puts more pressure on the heart as it has to pump blood with force to the feet which is relatively far from the heart sitting with legs folded releases the pressure from the heart in pumping blood to extremities more blood is facilitated by absorbing nutrients more importantly a sitting posture is a yoga posture by itself it has a calming effect on your mind when the individual sits on the floor the nerve performs better and transmits all the signals effectively further the stomach and cerebrum get time to relate the signs of feeling full according to ayurvedic tradition eating food 
should involve all senses the touch of food to your fingers and the feeling of its texture can trigger the nerve endings of your fingers which are connected to your digestion these nerve stimulations are known to activate the release of the digestive juices also according to ayurveda the five fingers represents five fundamental constituents of food thumb represents agni or fire four finger vayu the air middle finger akash the space ring finger prithvi the earth little finger jal water holding your foot with all the fingers is a kind of mudra symbolizes the union of all the elements which are essential for the normal functioning of your body annam brahma the food is god rather than having a conversation with others converse with god but in silence to not talk while eating might seem as an impossible thing in today's lifestyle but it is all about the choice we make every day here at the yoga institute to eat in silence with no talking and with no sound around has always been a common practice in indian culture which of course is breaking in this age of social media and fun filled lifestyle eating in silence enables you to chew your food completely and roll it completely inside your mouth this improves your digestion eating your food in silence can be meditative in nature eating in silence can have a calming effect on your mind our mind and body are strongly connected this is the reason why your mouth waters just by thinking about your favorite food mind stimulates the secretion similar thing happens when you eat in silence you become mindful of the flavors and texture this awareness helps in release of the appropriate chemicals in our body and that would help your digestion when you talk while eating more air goes into your system along with food and this air can make you feel bloated studies show with more talking and loud sound around people tend to eat fast which affects digestion here sometimes you may find some people to simply ignore this and not follow all these simple practice what to say they don't know that they are trading gold with peanut they simply miss the great joy and experience of eating in silence food once consumed can become a medicine or the source of diseases the food and the ways of consuming it shall decide what it shall do let thy food be thy medicine and the medicine be thy food we have dals the source of protein and complex carbs there is always a seasonal vegetable brown rice some very healthy fortified chapatis then we have salads great source of fiber and micronutrients a lemon wedge then some buttermilk on an average day around 200 people eat lunch at the institute on certain days when we have certain camps the number goes up to 250 to 300 people along with this the food for annam brahma is one of the institute's widespread social initiative in which we distribute wholesome nutritious meal at the places where it's needed the most like slums municipal and government hospital etc and also outside the institute almost 4 to 500 people are fed with this initiative every day while the traditional way of dining involves sitting on the floor The Yoga Institute is mindful of everyone's needs for those with health condition or physical limitations that makes sitting on the floor uncomfortable. The chairs provide comfortable alternative. This approach ensures that everyone enjoys their meals in a way that suits their individual needs, promoting both physical comfort and sense of belonging for all. This all inclusive approach reflects the Yoga Institute's belief in the importance of making yoga and principles accessible to all both on and off the mat. At the Yoga Institute, everyone takes care of their dishes 
after meals fostering a sense of discipline personal responsibility and independence this practice not only promotes cleanliness but also encourages a sense of personal accountability and environmental mindfulness emphasizing the holistic approach to living practice at the yoga institute namaskar